Jason. Yesterday was National Pet Day, and if you are a pet owner, no doubt you know how much stuff you need to take care of for your animal. Miranda Smith with Organizing with Mo is here once again to help us get things in order when it comes to our pet. Good morning, and Hi, thanks for coming good in. Morning. Thank you for having me. So I know you go into a lot of people's homes and you help with the closets and the bedrooms mm -hmm. and their clothes and all of that. How often do you do you get to the point where you're like, now we need to talk about your pets? Right. Well, a lot of people don't think about it. They they see the big problem of you know the kitchen or the pantry or whatever and they kind of don't think about how the small things that you can do to organize your pet stuff mm -hmm. so and pets are it's we were talking during the commercial break we're going to show you a video you know you just got dogs you got cats you got hamsters you got fish you've got gerbils you, you know, <laughs> all of these different animals right. require so much stuff mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so as people and if you lose a pet gain a pet it just it just is like an accumulating problem it is, it is. yeah so it's always good to Obviously, with everything else, you want to go through your items first and decide what you want to donate or you need to get rid of. And then after, the, after that, when you decide what you want to keep, then you can figure out how to organize. Okay, so we're going to talk about organization here. Yes. We're going to talk about how you can contain the clutter. And yes. she has the most adorable container I think I've ever seen. Tell me about this. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, getting something like a cat, you know, shaped basket or maybe a dog bone, that not only obviously will hold their toys and stuff, but it adds a decorative element to your space. So it allows your pets to get what they need real quickly. Or you could do something like this where you can hang this by your door. Not only can you hang your keys, your cell phone mail on it, but you could put their leashes on it. And that way, when you go in and out of the house, it's right there. Everyone in the house knows where it is when they're ready to take the pet out for a walk. Super convenient. Okay, you talk about doing clearing and con and conceal not concealing, <laughs> containing. The, yes. Like the, all this all in one place yeah. for their food and their treats. Mm -hmm. So sealed and clear. So there one thing that re I recommend is uh, obviously with uh, pet treats, pet food, put it in a sealed container, right? You don't want bugs, insects, uh, mice, stuff like that getting into it. But also if it's clear, Number one, you can see when you're getting low if you need something uh, else or you need uh, more of what you have. But it also looks a lot better right. than the big bulky bags or the boxes that a lot of these foods come in. And check out this. This lid yeah. can turn into... It's a measuring cup. And that's a great way to, yeah. for kids to participate yes. in yeah. taking care of, the, of their pets because mm -hmm. we know that sometimes it turns into mom's and dad's responsibility. Right. <laughs> all right, putting everything kind of all together, all the stuff that yes. one pet might need yeah so a lot of times it's great to have maybe like a grooming kit first aid kit for your pet so that it, when you're in the middle of let's say giving your dog a bath outside or in the shower and you're not soaking wet when you realize I forgot something right so if you have everything that you need anyone in the house can know where it is and you can just grab it and go super so. simple there and then we do this for um, adults and our children but keeping all the paperwork handy together yes yeah so what I recommend is no matter how many pets you have trying to keep it all in one area so like you can you know each slot is for a different pet but it's all together so if you need to put away a receipt or if you need to go look at a medication list something like that it's all in one place and you don't have to worry about where it is so we have jc and I say Ice Age and Jerby or gerbils. Yes. Is that right? And yes. J and JC. JC and Kiva are, are our dogs. dogs. Yeah. So four <laughs> pets in one. So you do have to keep it organized. Yes. So, so yes. let me run through the, the kind of like the quick things to do. Yeah. You know, keep the, contain the clutter, as she mentioned, clear and sealed with like the foods and the treats, put all the stuff that they need in one location where you, everybody has access to it, and then the pet paperwork in one location. You also recommend, I mean, because yes. I'm all about paper, I like to have the tangible stuff right but yeah I recommend too if you're willing to, to do it go digital with it so it's just same same concept you make a file in your computer with the name of your pet you scan you save and then you can get rid of this and you don't have to worry about it yeah and then you've got it in your computer at all times all right if you'd like more information you can check out organizing with Mo at organizingwithmo.com we'll see you next time thank you so much appreciate you all right we're gonna take a break the pool of video games is real I mean it's big really big we're getting a look at what could soon be the largest functioning arcade game in the world. Also, an expensive set of sneakers selling to the highest bidder. I think you might be surprised at how much money someone spent for a pair of Michael Jordan's tennis shoes.